Scatteractcoach.com. Pterygium without sutures or glue. An innovative way of securing the graft without, again, using sutures or glue. Interesting. So there's the pterygium. Not too bad. We sped the video up so we can get through in an efficient manner. So using the Westcott scissors, getting underneath it here. And let's see, just probably going to cut it off. Cut, Create that little stump and that can be peeled off the cornea. There we go. Okay, cutting it off. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You want, probably want to do a bigger dissection there to get the root of the pterygium too. And so you can actually probably peel it off the cornea. There you go. Nicely done. Peeled off the cornea. And there, pterygium's gone. Very nicely done. Okay, at least the tip is gone, the part that's on the cornea. Now let's see what we got here. Using a, a crescent blade here to smooth off the cornea. Be gentle here. Don't go too much. I once had a resident who used a diamond bird to smooth this cornea out. He said, well, there was still so much white stuff. I kept going and kept going until, until aqueous came out. And then, of course, he calls me up. And uh, not very appreciative, I must say. Even decades later, not that appreciative. He practices in Southern California, never, never wants that new patient. Never wants. Anyway, let's get back to the case here. A little bit of cautery here, cleaning that up. You don't want to do too much cautery now. Don't make the area just white, white, white with cautery. You need it to be vascular. Now, let me tell you about the Cataract Coach Podcast. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. And I'm going to keep putting these commercials in here until you subscribe. Yeah, that's the message to you. And you, I mean you, exactly. Now, measuring out where are you going to take the graft from. Okay. Now, again, I would have done a little more dissection there under that nasal conge because there's probably more of the pterygium there. I would like to get more of it. But okay, so measuring out here's where you're going to take the graft from. And marking that off, okay, I like that. And now let's see, using a, using a crescent blade very gently, just to incise the conjunctiva, very superficial, there it is. And then let's see some dissection here. Okay, using just the, the Westcott scissors, gentle, gentle dissection. You just want the conjunctiva here. You don't want the tenons layer. You can also sometimes inject underneath the cons there. Put a little lighter with epi, and that'll help dissect it out for you. But here you go, beautiful manual dissection here using the Westcott scissors. There you go, very nicely done. And you can see it's just under the conjunctiva. Very superficial. That looks great. All righty, once that's fully dissected, I like that technique of making the two incisions first. And then now probably going to cut across there, probably with the same Van Ness scissors, right? All right, let's see, let's see, cut across. Once you've got the right size, there it is, cutting across. And now let's see, probably flip it onto the cornea. Yeah, there we go. Now remember which side is up. Don't put the conjunctival graft upside down, right? So now you've got it upside down on the cornea. That's okay. And then gently dissecting it here. The Q-tip helps. A little cotton swab to help get some hemostasis. See what you're doing here to expose that tissue. And the patient's own natural just blood is going to help heal this graft in place without glue, without sutures. Watch this. So now gently cutting the graft free, again, keeping the correct orientation. So now the graft is, again, upside down on the cornea. That's okay. We know that. So again, keeping it nice and smooth. And then probably cutting across. Yeah, there we go. Cutting across now with the scissors. Now the graft is the correct orientation. So grab that. Cut across. All right. Very good. And now get that transposed. Now back upside down on the cornea. Remember, keep orientation correct. Very important. And so once you've got that correct orientation now, now grabbing both ends and now flip it the correct way. Let's see. Grab the two ends and now it's flipped the correct way. And now slowly take your time, spread that thing out there. And the blood itself was going to cause it to stick in place. This is the beauty here. We had a, a similar video like this from Pradeep Mohanta on Cataract Coach about doing a trigem the same way, again, with no sutures and no glue, just using the patient's own blood. And so now, what's different in this case is you'll see a corneal scleral contact lens is going to be placed to hold this graft in place. So spreading the graft out nice and easy, give it a little bit of time for the blood to congeal, for the blood to clot a little bit there. And now you know why you didn't do all that cautery. You can't have too much cautery. And being patient, give it time, time, time. And let's see, you need to uh, give it time so it heals up. I like just a couple of drops there on the cornea to, to moisten it. Yeah, you don't want to flood everything. And that graft is, look, it's staying in good position here. 
And the surgeon's final trick, again, is going to be using a corneal scleral, a large, large diameter contact lens, and leave that on the eye for at least a few days, if not a longer, and that'll really help hold the graft in place there. Look at that. It's fixed very nicely there. You don't have to use glue. Look, you don't have to use sutures. Here comes that contact. Look at this thing. That thing is mega. What is that, 20 plus millimeters in, in diameter? Oh, probably. Now, it looks like you got to still put the contact all the way down. It looks like it's cupped upwards. There we go. Push it down. Look at that thing. Wowza. That is pretty cool. I don't even know where to order a corneal scleral contact lens that's big. I got to find one of these. That's a neat idea. Very interesting technique here. I think certainly using a, a tissue glue would be uh, also very easy and maybe a little bit more secure. But again, that's added expense and it depends on where you want in the world. You may not have that. I want to show you this technique. I thought it was pretty cool, especially if you can find that big mega size contact lens. So take the speculum out at the end. Make sure that contact lens stays in good position. Beautiful post-op day. Whatever it is, looks great. Healed up nicely. Fantastic results. And remember, check out that podcast. I promise you will love it. You will thank me later.